What's happening guys? Welcome back to another episode of Ruse Reviews and today we are chatting all things Lux by Lloyd Barnes and Murphy's Magic. So let's get into this. So here we go, Lux, the effect that split the magic community straight down the middle and for right or for wrong, everybody has their own views on this effect, but this is just my humble opinion and here goes. So what is Lux? Lux is a way to manipulate UV ink. It is a utility device that fits in your pocket that can hang around your neck and you can manipulate UV ink. This allows you to create new effects, to enhance effects that maybe you already do and maybe just have a bit of fun in day-to-day -day life. This is what it looks like. This is how it comes in the box. Um, I should say that I've had this for a little while and I've been out there working it because of course nothing gets on this channel unless it goes into one of my sets and indeed goes into rotation in my routine. So um, that's why I've waited a little bit before um, uploading this review. But let me just say, without blowing smoke or causing more hype, which uh, indeed this product has done, this is, so far, this year, the best thing that I've bought. Now, I realise that isn't as strong as, say, what other people have said. I know people had issues about Craig Petty saying that this was the best trick of the decade. And, you know, that's only his opinion. And take it with a pinch of salt. Obviously, that's his view on the product. Um, but whether that makes you want to buy it or not, don't get too riled up. Because this effect, uh, whether you think it's the best trick of the decade or not, is bloody good anyway. So, let's show you what you get inside the box. Inside this box, which is beautifully packaged, as most things from Murphy's are, uh, you get a, a pen, a, a UV ink pen, and a UV light. Now, as I say, I have been using this a while, so this isn't ha exactly how it comes in the box. It's light. There are some chains that I've taken off and are actually still in the box, uh, but this just makes it a little bit shorter. Um, now, contrary to popular belief, it has nothing to do with the ink. This is regular UV ink. Uh, well, so far as to say that it's regular UV ink uh, that is xylene free or xylol free in the US. But that just means if anybody has any irritations on their hands and you don't want it to maybe show up as much on playing cards or however you're using this, um, xylene is the ingredient within UV ink that will make it do those things or maybe irritate the subject in question. So everything, what you're paying for, that's 70, oh, around 65 pounds now in the UK, around that 65, 70 pounds. Uh, what you're paying for is in this little inconspicuous pen here. Uh, pen, sorry, light. I have to get rid of those things in my mind. So inside this light uh, is all the mechanics, everything you need to do to make this utility device work. And you're probably thinking, hmm, 65, 70 pounds, that's quite expensive for what is essentially a cheap looking pen. But the amount of work that goes into this little thing, uh, there's a little computer chip in here that does all this magical stuff for you, uh, totally worth the money for me. But then again, I'm a working performer. So if you're a hobbyist, maybe it might not be the right price point for you, but if you wanna do everything that you can see in the trailer, then this little thing will do it. Now, I'm not giving away anything in this interview by describing what goes into the gimmick and what the gimmick is, uh, because Lloyd has already done an, an Ask Me Anything on his YouTube channel and Murphy's. So uh, you can go and find out everything you want, what this utility device does uh, over there. And I'll post the link up here or just search for it in YouTube uh, in case I'm too lazy. But if you want to find out exactly what this thing does, just head over there. So this is just my thoughts on this product. And as I say, it's definitely the best thing that's come out this year. In the last decade, mm, that's debatable, but why this has gone straight into my top set, why this is my best trick of the year so far, is that it has unlocked so much creativity. And that's what a good gimmick does. That's what a good utility device or effect does. It unlocks your own inner creativity. And there's so much stuff you can do with just this little light that the mind boggles. And for lack of a better phrase, and I hate that phrase because we, we say it all the time on this channel, uh, you are only limited by your imagination. Ugh, cringe, pain. But that is literally what you are limited by. So within this module here, there are six different modes that allow you to make 
the UV light do whatever you want. Uh, one of those modes I'm just gonna show you quickly now, it's just a UV on and off mode. So I can shine the UV light on my hand. Uh, I don't know if you can see that on camera there. You can see nothing there, right? If I turn the UV off, if I turn it back on again, you can see, oh, a minute, not on my hand. There we go, the little, where are we? Oh God, there we are, a little X that's on my hand there. Oh God, it's really hard to do back to front, but it is there. Again, UV off, you cannot see it anywhere. UV back on, there is the X. So that is just one of these versions that you can do. There are six of them. There's a way for the spectator to be able to hold on to this. They hold on to the pen. Um, and they're able to make the X vanish. I'm, I'm using the X here because that's the one that most people are going on about in the trailer. This can literally be for anything, right? You can write anything down, you can uh, gimmick decks of cards, you can do whatever you like, but I'm just showing just for an explanation, uh, the X vanishing, all right? Uh, let me just put this into the mode that allows you to, uh, th for the spectator to be able to um, hold on to the pen. So just to show you what the spectators version looked like if they were gonna hold on to the uh, pen themselves, I've drawn a slightly bigger X on my hand as well, so hopefully you guys can see it. Um, there's the X, there's the X on my hand, uh, and any second that X is gonna vanish, and it vanishes like this. Uh, again, they're holding the pen, remember? Uh, that is the X that vanishes. You can then move the pen to your hand or, or, or <laughs> whatever your routining is, and you can see, hopefully, that that X returns. There it is. And the X returns onto the hand. Really hard, again, to get that on reverse. <laughs> the instructions themselves are by Lord Barnes and Javier as well over at Murphy's Magic. Um, so there's a lot a lot that goes into these instructions. I think it's nearly two hours long, maybe just over, something like that. Um, but there's the introduction, how you prep the gimmick, how you set it all up. Um, there's also a little prep you have to do with the UV ink that gets sent with it. But as I say, any UV pen can be used. So you don't just have to use the one that's given to you uh, in the packet. You can go out and find your own from Amazon or wherever you like. Uh, other online stores are available. But that's it. Everything is built into this. It is super, super easy to use. Um, there's been no uh, people sort of grabbing it and doing it weird things with it, uh, mainly because of audience management. Your audience management does have to be uh, a little bit on point, doesn't have to be too much on point, because at the end of the day, nobody gets fussed about this little thing. It's so inconspicuous. It is literally something that looks like it's come out of a cracker, and that's exactly what you need. You don't want anything fancy, you don't want any fancy looking gimmicks. That looks like something cheap that's come out of a cracker and you've just attached to your key ring. Um, but I will say it is extremely, extremely durable. This is uh, aluminium or something they've made made this casing from, so it will hold up a lot. Again, obviously don't go chucking it under a car or anything, but if you're carrying it in a gig bag or as your everyday carry, EDC, um, that'll be fine on your keychain. So how has this fitted into my set? Well, as I say, so easy for walkabout magic. Uh, that pen, this pen here, uh, it's, it's no bigger than a Sharpie marker, so that can just sit in my inside pocket, and that takes up no room at all. Um, how it's been able to work in is I actually use the invisible deck method. In fact, I do a few things that are set up on me. One of them involves my credit card, my driving license, and a rail ticket that I carry on me. Uh, if you guys understand where this utility device is sort of going, then you might be able to figure out what I do with those. There's loads of cool things you can do with it, but I just use it currently for the invisible deck. Now, I've only worked that a couple of times, and the reactions have been stellar. And like, I, I, like, I love the invisible deck. I love the invisible deck and as a magician, I'm always looking to streamline what I have on me. You know, I wear suits, so I don't want to have loads of pockets bulging with loads of stuff. So I carry a minimum of two decks at most and I kind of want to retract that down to one. Uh, now, I can do that because my normal everyday deck that I carry is just set up for invisible deck as well. And I can use it and I have card sign, I can turn resort or whatever you want. Um, but yeah, I just have one deck now that's set up to do invisible deck as well. So if anything, what I paid for this has saved me pocket space and that is worth the price alone. So there we go, guys. Um, whether you believe the hype or don't believe the hype, uh, this cool little product uh, is something that I believe most people should carry in their everyday carries or indeed as, as a working set because it is so inconspicuous. 
inconspicuous. So inconspicuous, um, it is a lot, a lot of fun and it feels like real magic. That's what it does, it feels like real magic to the spectators. And you know what, even with the way that UV tech has progressed and it's sort of being common knowledge now, um, unless you're a, a UV geek and you're out there studying UV lights day in, day out, which let's face it, a lot of people aren't, um, then this is gonna blow people's minds. That's it guys, go pick up your copy, add it to your arsenal and I will see you all very soon in the next Ruse Reviews. Ciao.